I think that, that skateboarding and the act of pursuing what I wanted to do and sort of progressing at my own level uh, created confidence in me that has, you know, drastically changed and improved my life. Makes you feel happy inside, so it gives you a positive outlook. It's not one of these things that there's typical boundaries on. It's, a, it's an artistic expression. If you're physically active, if your imagination and your creativity are sparked and you're feeling good about yourself, that reflects on your community. You learn a sense of accomplishment, you learn the value of putting in work, you learn so much through skateboarding. I think skateboarders have an unfair advantage in life because of what we learn from the sport. People treat me different when I'm on a skateboard. It's, it's really odd. People, you know, might not think that, you know, you're as educated as you are, you're not as, you know, outgoing as you are, you don't have a job, stuff like that. There, unfortunately, there's also stigmas. It kind of makes me angry because they're almost stereotyping me. The problem with it is that depending on the materials and uh, the ownership, it's, it's going to annoy people result in security guards, police, and all that. Downtown one day, I was just tackled by a police officer out of the blue, like, from behind, actually, and put in a hammerlock and arrested for skateboarding on the sidewalk. There isn't anywhere to skateboard in this community, and there isn't anything for kids to do. You know, I think we could continue on the way we are, and we could have a sketchy skate park, and we could have, you know, kids riding down side streets all over the place and riding ledges in front of buildings and things and and being yelled at and being escorted off the property by security guards and you know just essentially being marginalized and I think you know if we're if we're gonna do that to youth who are really not doing anything wrong or bad what are we sending them as a message you know are we sending them the message that you know, we support you and we're willing to stay, keep up with you and stay on top of what you want to do and, and, and show enthusiasm for that? Or are we telling them that what their interests and their passions are is worthless? I don't think that's the kind of message we want to be sending to our youth. This, 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 this phrase will come instantly into your consciousness. Uh, uh. Vancouver is, is really a mecca for skateboarding in the world. We've got 30 or more free skate parks in Greater Vancouver. The whole skate community is usually involved in the design, so we all feel really proud of our spots, whether they're skate parks or, or street spots. We do really tend to, tend to take care of them. For instance, we just got Kilchena Park built, and it's the first part, skate park built on the west side of Vancouver. So we kind of made history in this city. And again, to give people that sense of ownership, like, hey, we were involved in the design of this. This is our place. It, it, makes, it gives people much more of a connection to their city. The Skateboard Coalition has set, set the stage, I think, an example for other communities to, to, to get themselves organized. Before, there was no real skate park getting built. It was a bunch of guys just working away in the night, building random obstacles. Now, within the next few months, we should have a real skate park. I've always heard rumors, you know, growing up, okay, yeah, you know, these so-and-so is going to get a skate park built or something, and they would almost just go and ask for a skateboard park to be built and then you know they didn't really put any research didn't put any effort into it nothing like that normally they would get turned away because they didn't come prepared and people got quite discouraged like this saying you know oh, the city doesn't care about skateboard or stuff like that we're telling groups that you have to help yourself if you're going to get uh, anything from HRM we have to have a sense that um, you know you're willing to uh, put some sweat equity into the process yourself and it's just not going to be um, dealt to you, uh, I guess, on a silver platter in that, in that regard. So I think the skate community is uh, taking heed to that. I got involved in the skate uh, park in Beaver Bank through my son, Leslie, who is a avid skateboarder. I just asked my mom what would it take to get a skate park in Beaver Bank. She said, well, Leslie, let's make a few phone calls. We made some phone calls and kind of got the, the ball rolling. We've been working with Darren Hurdle from uh, HRM, from the Recreation Department. Well, 
I think this process brings community together because you have youth and adults working together on a project, again, where they may never have uh, interacted before. You would have adults making decisions for youth. You would have youth getting together wishing that they would have this. But when you have everyone coming together around one project, um, they get to share each other's views of opinion, um, see where they're coming from, and they learn from that. The role of the kids, um, they are coming up with uh, the ideas to fundraise, they're, um, you know, they, they are the ones that see the final product. It's really easy to lose that youth demographic, and I'm talking the sort of 13 to 18 year olds, and for them to feel marginalized. Um, youth who get involved in projects and in the community early in their life tend to become great community contributors as they turn into adults and, and live in those communities. My primary interest in skateboarding would probably be the fact that, you know, my kids skateboard. There's a real lack of facility in Halifax in terms of a good facility compared to what other communities have across Canada, well, around the world now, actually. I arranged a public meeting at the library for anybody who wanted to come by and you know we decided you know yes there's enough of us to try and create some kind of a focus what's our focus going to be is it an indoor park is it an outdoor park we started fundraising we put a corporate proposal package together uh, presented to the uh, city council we need to raise you know about five hundred thousand dollars for the, the skate park and without the city's involvement you know we're not as likely to get that funding from the corporate sponsors and we needed the, uh, the city itself to uh, to throw in quite a bit of change our primary contact with the city has been a gentleman by the name of Blair Blakeney who has really come on board this. I mean, he's essentially said that this is the priority project for his department. I think what we've all brought to the table over the last number of years in terms of building this is, is a, a sense of respect for one another and, and, and what we have to do to bring a, a, a facility and a dream to fruition. I think the fact that the city has stepped up and shown support for these kids and for what they're doing and for what they want to do is going to have a tremendous impact down the, down the road. I think it's saying, hey, you know, we value you. You may not fit what we think is our sort of traditional role for kids, you know, playing on a sport team or whatever, but what we, we see what you're doing as, as a proactive and a positive thing and we want to encourage you to stay active.